Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for Ultimate X-Men number five. This is a new book from Marvel Comics. Let's talk about the creative team behind this book. Of course, we have writer and artist Peach Momoko, including the cover art, uh, with a script adaptation by Zach Davidson and letters by Travis Lanham. Uh, I think a lot of the time we, we kind of underestimate the value that Zach Davidson is bringing into a book like this. Of course, everything is uh, written by Peach, but it is very important to have that translation, that adaptation, that localization uh, happen, right? It, it, Zach Davidson does a lot of uh, manga translation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, I definitely have seen his name in some of the stuff that I read and in, in, in a lot of the manga that uh, I tend to check out. So um, this issue, though, oh my goodness. Uh, in this issue, the New Mutants face their first enemy. Maystorm isn't the only one with mutant electric powers, and Noriko Ashida is here to make sure that she knows it. A fun summer festival turns haunted and dangerous as spirits and surges collide. Plus, the shadow who has been haunting armor finally reveals his true face. Uh, yes, yes, there's a lot of things that I was uh, I was hoping that we would finally get a little bit more answers, uh, but I think seeing first of all more characters, more obstacles for this like this 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 group of little kids that I mean they're they're young teens, but this group of teens that are finding their way into this world, experiencing this thing that nobody has ever experienced before, becoming mutants, uh, and on top of that, they have some enemies that not only are they bringing the horror and uh, they torturing them really uh like they are being very well antagonized so uh as soon as you kind of get into this issue you're like oh that's the guy and then you also realize that his motivations of course very sinister uh so very very interesting stuff i'm really enjoying how different of a book this feels like out of out of the whole ultimate x-men line i think this has the most unique feel uh, especially when it comes to western comics uh so yeah but let's take a look at some of the preview art as you probably know, Peach Momoko is a fantastic artist, but I love that she's not afraid to draw stuff that is pushing the boundaries of like, you know, her style is definitely uh, feels very calming and and beautiful, but so but that juxtaposed with some of the crazy imagery that we're seeing, like like this guy with a knife close to a little blade close to his eye, uh, all the stuff that we seen with armor, you know, the scar uh, in in in, in uh, uh, her leg, uh, and then also the the all the little facial expressions of this guy you can see here, uh, and then of course we get back to the horror of it. What you know this entity that has been haunting um, armor all 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 throughout. We finally get a little bit more of a glimpse of that. So you know even though she has friends now and and uh, Hizako isn't alone, like she definitely still has a lot to worry about. So this is really really fun. I don't know that this is going to appeal to everyone, especially coming in thinking that this is just like a, like an X-Men book, uh, but I like it. It really appeals to, I'm, I'm a big fan of manga, so like this really feels like a good in-between of both media. So yeah, really fun stuff. Uh, once again, beautiful cover I was able to pick up. Uh, I picked up the main cover. I'm picking up all the Peach Momogo covers, uh, and just, yeah, as I get through this book, it's really fun. Uh, some really funny visuals as well. Uh, you know, these are some of the things that I didn't put on the preview. But, yeah, it just really works. Uh, and, and the revelations of this issue just really bring everything to a front. So very excited to see where this goes. Very excited as the team kind of comes together uh, and we get to see a little bit more of both uh, new allies and also new enemies kind of popping up. So uh, if you're reading this, let me know. What do you think about Ultimate X-Men? How do you feel about the Ultimate Universe as a whole? Uh, and, of course, stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.